Okay, so good evening one and all. I am Spruha from VNIT and our project is about embedded applications with Scilab XCOS Python Julia Arduino interface. This is the basic outline of our work. Each will be presenting turn by turn. Okay. So one of the major limitations of Arduino ID is limited ability to interact with user. Therefore, we are using this interface. Scilab Arduino interface is used with the help of Toolbox Arduino. Python Arduino basically is because of Pi serial and Julia Arduino interface with the help of serial ports. Now, implementing I2C protocol is one of the applications. The sensors we have used here is MPU6050. This is basically an accelerometer, gyroscope, temperature sensor on the same chip. This sensor uses the I2C protocol to communicate with the Arduino, where Arduino is the master. So the last year, Scilab Arduino project was taken up, and some amount of work was done on it, wherein basic sensors and actuators were implemented, like LED, LDR, motors, and all. For implementation of I2C protocol, we had to make modification to the firmware. Functions were added into uh, Julia, Scilab, and Python for acquiring the data. Calibration can be done, and sensitivity of the sensor can also be adjusted. This is the freezing model. Now, plotting of the data. Scilab requires no additional packages. Python uses matplotlib. And Julia on the lines of Python uses matplotlib. So here's the example. I have demo also. Filtering the data, simple uh, low pass filtering, discrete time for removing the noise, simple moving average. And Kalman filter is uh, implemented by modeling the system. Like the mathematics is known, and then we have implemented. I'll show you a quick demo. So we have uh, made a video clip. So here, as we can see, as the accelerometer moves, the direction of the acceleration, the components in x, y, z direction are being plotted at real time. The g, which you see the green color, is always there if uh, only x, y movement is there due to the gravity. The next is uh, real-time plotting of acceleration with time using x cause. The functional block has been uh, implemented here. This is the function which we have introduced for the real-time plotting against time, acceleration against time. Thank you, Spruha. Uh, I am Ankush Bansal from IIT BHU. Uh, my role in this project was to develop a GUI for uh, better uh, uh, to make this uh, user friendly a number of experiments have been performed uh, they have been written and coded so there was a need of a gui so that user can interact easily uh, with these experiments so uh, pi arduino was developed for this uh, this is the main window which was made for pi arduino rather than going for dem uh, demo i would uh, stick to presentation uh, this is the console screen this is the main text editor those are the codes which are already written uh, for uh, interaction user can directly uh, uh, select those experiments and run following are the libraries which were uh, used uh, in this uh, gui matplotlib was used to plot the live graphs uh, user extracts data from the arduino but uh, we needed something to be uh, in real time so matplotlib was used to extract uh, real time analog data from the arduino and plot it uh, in the software Icons were added, Pi serial was used for the communication, and suppresses was uh, taken to call terminal, terminal at the back end so that the experiments could be run. This is one of the uh, screenshots I have taken. The code written on the text editor, and the user, as soon as uh, uh, clicks the run button, since Arduino was not found, the console screen shows that uh, Arduino was not connected. These are the experiments which are uh, uh, pre-written and user can directly access these experiments. This is the live uh, graph, uh, real-time data is extracted from Arduino and user can plot it. I would like to hand over to Chandrasekhar for further. Thank you. Uh, good evening, one and all. I'm Chandrasekhar from IIT Madras and I've been involved with developing an interface between the Julia language and Arduino 
Julia is a high-level, high-performing uh, technical computing language, which was recently developed. It is open source and has a user-friendly syntax, but it is much faster than its counterparts like Python or MATLAB. So my task has been to develop an interface between Julia and Arduino, and I used the Julia library serial ports to facilitate serial communication between the Arduino board and the Julia program. And I've developed uh, a module named Arduino Tools, which contains functions for serial communication, for digital control of the board, for analog control, and for DC motor and servo motor control. And lastly, I've also, uh, these are some of the functions, DigiWrite and Analog Read. DigiWrite writes a digital value on a specific pin, whereas Analog Read reads the analog value from a specific pin on the Arduino. And lastly, I've also implemented the toolbox on, on the energy meter, Modbus energy meter, uh, which sends back real-time electrical data like power, uh, voltage, or current. And I've developed functions to read these parameters in Julia. And this basic toolbox has also been used by my co-interns to implement their experiments. I'll hand it over to Anupama. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Anupma Sharan from VJTI Mumbai and uh, what uh, we have also, we have extended the applications uh, to implementing digital circuits uh, using Arduino, uh, Scilab XCOS, Arduino Python and Arduino Julia interface. So we have implemented about 21 experiments starting right from all the logic gates up to registers which actually use flip-flops which are sequential circuits and uh, we have done that using more than one methods on XCOS as well as on the other, uh, on Scilab, Python as well as Julia for for example, say shift registers, which are, you can say, the most complicated amongst all, all the digital, digital circuits. Uh, we have implemented that using ICs as well as without ICs. So uh, I will move on to showing you a, a demo video. Uh, okay, so this is the parallel and serial out shift register. We take the input from the user, um, which asks for the number of times the parallel input has to be given. And uh, we also take um, the input from the user, user which, which asks the user how many bit, bit of inputs the user wants to give. Uh, an IC can accommodate a maximum of 8 bit, but it can be cascaded and, and extended. Uh, so here, uh, the number of times that I've given the parallel load is 1 and 6 bit input. Uh, the input that I give is 101100, 6 bit input, starting from LSB up to MSB. So the output that you will see starts from LSB. One LED represents the clock pulse, and the other one represents the actual output. So um, the one which is constantly blinking is the clock pulse, and the other one is the output. Uh, if you might have noticed, the output was on, off, on, on, off, off, according to the clock pulse, which is actually the input that was given. The next one is a serial and parallel out register using IC. We again ask the uh, user for the input and we give a 5-bit input. So in this experiment, as and when you press the push button, it gives a high input to the register and it is serially shifted up to 6 bits. So this was one of the few experiments. Uh, there were around 21 experiments implemented. Uh, I would hand over to Srishti. Hello everyone, uh, I have also implemented an application of uh, Scilab, Arduino, Julia, Python interfacing. So I have implemented a solar tracker. Uh, so uh, basically a solar tracker uh, is a uh, device that uh, tracks the sun so as to increase uh, output of the uh, solar panel and uh, improve its uh, working. So. Uh, I have used two LDRs to sense the uh, intensity of light and uh, depending on that I will rotate the servo motor in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Uh, I will uh, show you a video of that. So this is the XCOS model of uh, the solar tracker and yeah so this is the motor and the light was basically on uh, more on the that side and it's rotating in that side direction if you can see and when it comes over here the motor will rotate in this direction uh, next i have Im implemented an uh, interrupt this interrupt was an ir sensor uh, which consists of a uh, motor on which shaft there is a gear placed 
and between the uh, sensor that uh, the gear is placed so when the motor rotates uh, the uh, receiver cannot uh, re receive the signal from the transmitter as a result we can uh, bec because of this we can find out number of rotations of the motor so i'll show you a demo of that also this is the xcos model and i have um, run the simulation and uh, the upper graph shows the uh, number of steps and your it the is the gear so uh, this will show the uh, number of rotations that it has rotated and uh, that graph shows the number of steps that it has taken thank you okay i think that we have come to the end of the uh, presentations thank you for the uh, very good presentations today we will we'll proceed for the next procedure